For the first time in PGA of America's history, American Sign Language Interpretation will be available at the championship next week at Oak Hill Country Club. This step creates better accessibility for Rochester's deaf and hard of hearing population. Mackenzie Mislin joins us now in studio with more on this. Mackenzie. Yes, Adam, 20 ASL interpreters will be available throughout the PGA Championship next week. This means deaf and hard of hearing folks will have an equal opportunity to enjoy the event. Jerry Buckley, the president of RIT's National Technical Institute for the Deaf, says finding events that are deaf-friendly can be difficult. For myself as a deaf professional, plus having a deaf daughter and a hard of hearing grandson, um, we're constantly looking for opportunities that are accessible. Um, it can happen automatically. We have to plan. So we have, like I said, we have the theaters, we have the performing arts, we have many things that are happening now in a positive way. Now the, the PGA hopefully will become a tradition. Mark Funtner is a professor here at RIT NTID plus an avid golfer. He says interpreters will wear special shirts to make it easier for people to identify them and will be on site from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. all week. They will help us navigate the course, they will help at information booths, they will effectively interpret the comments that are happening throughout the day. So it will be more recognizable, not only to the deaf community, but other people attending will recognize it too and see the wonderful support we have there. And with the PGA Championship being broadcast nationally, Buckley is hoping they'll be able to influence others to provide deaf accessibility at their future events. And we're hoping this example will lead the PGA to recognize the importance of doing this in future years in different cities. And other cities will make the same kind of commitment as Rochester has made to providing equal access to deaf and hard of hearing people. That's really the goal. For those who plan to keep an eye out for interpreters, they'll be stationed at the main spectator entrance and Kilbourne Gate. 